Okay, today I'd like to show you how to create drop downs in Google Sites. So, as you can see, if I, let's see, if I hover over resources right here, I have a drop down list of links. And unfortunately, it's not too straightforward on how to do this within Google Sites. So, let's look to see how to do it. So, I have this is a field day page, but I want to add um, a different page to resources. I'm just going to use a testing page today. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go up here to the, uh, the little cog next to the blue share button. We're going to click on that once, and we are going to select edit site layout. Now, if you notice, when you hover over these different items, they change color. So that gives you an idea of uh, when you click on it, that's going to be the area that you're going to want to edit. And so we're going to want to edit uh, the horizontal navigation right here. So I'm going to just click anywhere along this space once. And as you can see, here are my, my, uh, my links, my main menu links. Now, um, the ones that are indented right here, these are the drop-down links that are under the resources link at the very top. Okay, so let's just look at that real quick again. So well, I guess you can't see it. Let me let me go ahead and click on that again. Okay, so those are the uh, drop down links, and the page that I want to add is not there. Okay, because I just created it. It's called testing, but it does not show up by default within this list. So what we have to do, we have to click on add page. And here is the, the sitemap of all of the pages that I've created. Okay, and the page that I created is called testing, and it's actually, I set it to be underneath the home uh, page or link. So I'm going to go ahead and click that once, and I'm going to click on OK. Okay, now I need to scroll down a little bit to see it. Did you see that? I had to scroll down to find the new page that I just added that I want to be in a drop-down list. So let's just say, um, for example's sake, I want to add this page, the testing page, to um, the About Me. And I want it to drop down underneath that when, when someone hovers over About Me. So I'm going to scroll down, and it's already highlighted. So my page is highlighted, so that's good. Now, there are these arrows up here on the top that we're going to be on the side that we're going to be using right here. Okay, so to get it up to the About Me page, I need to click on the, the up arrow. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to keep clicking on it until it gets all the way. I need to scroll up a little bit so I can see. All the way underneath About Me. Now, once it's underneath About Me, it's still not ready. It's still not a drop down. You have to do one more thing. There is a right arrow right here and I'm gonna click once on the right arrow to indent. And that is how you create your dropdown. You have to actually click on that right arrow underneath the section that you wanna do it. Here, let's, let's try it again. Here, let me just click on the left arrow to put it back where it was. And let's say, um, let me go back to, uh, I wanna put it under field day. So I'm gonna click on the down arrow. Oops, ready to go. Oh, there it is clicking on the down arrow, and it's underneath field day, and that's the, uh, the link that I want it to be under when someone drops down. So I'm gonna click on the right arrow. And that's how you create a drop down in Google Sites. Now I'm gonna click on OK, and I'm just gonna test it out just to make sure it worked. I need to first click on the blue close button And there it is. There's my testing page that I wanted to drop down underneath this main link right here called Field Day. Thanks for watching.